the next item on the agenda is um, uh, a deputation by appointment. Uh, Louisa Eads, Secretary of the Governors Bay Jetty Restoration Trust, will speak to item. And it doesn't look as if she's alone. We've got someone else coming up as well. I got a sneak preview of your booklet yesterday at Littleton um, you, uh, Mount Herbert Community Board meeting where we um, said farewell to Paula Smith as the chair of the um, community board. So Great. thank you. Thank you. I was just checking that you Beautiful everyone, book. <laughs> everyone has a copy of that, please. They're just being handed out. This is the most exciting item on our agenda. I'm oh, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to hear it. Thank you. So good morning um, and thank you Madam Mayor and Councillors. Um, this is Louisa Eats and I'm Nick Harwood. Uh, we are the Secretary and Chair of the Governors Bay Jetty Restoration Trust. Um, the Governors Bay Jetty is a, obviously a topic on the, on the agenda today. Um, thank you for the opportunity to present a deputation on behalf of the Trust uh, and thank you to Andrew Rutledge, um, Head of Parks and his team, particularly Kelly Hanson who has pre prepared the recommendations report. Um, we'd also like to personally thank the Mayor and Councillors for allocating $535,000 towards the Governors Bay Jetty renewal. Um, since the Trust was last before you about 18 months ago, we've worked closely with Council staff looking at various relationship models uh, between the Council and Trust for the restoration of the jetty. And we are here today to support uh, Kelly's uh, option one, which is that the Council approves the sale of the Governors Bay Jetty to the Governors Bay Jetty Restoration Trust with an agreement that the Trust will sell the jetty back to the Council upon completion of restoration. We're strongly in favour of option one, that is, as it is the only option um, with a clear path for a timely restoration of the jetty. Option one is supported by Andrew Rutledge, Head of Parks, Mary Richardson, the General Manager of Customer and Community, Jason Rivett, a finance business partner, um, the Council's legal services team with a, a great help from Emma Perry, um, and the Littleton Mount Herbert Community Board. Um, the Trust currently does not have the ability to raise funds until we have the mandate to restore the jetty. Uh, the agreement, uh, appended to the report, which you will hear soon, enables the Trust to approach funders to mobilise funds from sources that are not otherwise available to the Council, and this is a key strength of option one. The case for support document presented to you is a, is a key document in our fundraising strategy. Thank you very much. We're here to answer any questions you may have. I'll just help answer the questions. <laughs> okay. Well, look, I mean, thank you very much for coming. It's, um, you know, 18 months ago, I think we were all quite excited at the prospect of um, engaging in a partnership arrangement with the community. Uh, but you've come back with this amazing um, alternative, you know, uh, technically the, the, the sale of, the, I guess, one of our city's assets, um, but in a perfectly um, uh, positive uh, frame where uh, the community itself takes responsibility with the funding that we've put on budget anyway yep. um, and then a sale back uh, technically um, to, to, to the city. Uh, and I'm just, I've, I haven't got any questions, I just think it's just great. <laughs> Andrew, did you have any? I don't have any questions because I've been very close to this project um, right the way through and I think it's great that we've, we've got this um, project at this point today. Um, this is about partnership, it's about collaboration, it's about council working hand in hand with the community to deliver the outcomes that the community have clearly said that they, um, they want to see. This is exciting, this is actually the kind of stuff that we came here as councillors to do. Um, so what we've got is the council and the community working together to deliver a result which is far better and far greater than either could have delivered on their own. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is true partnership. So delighted to have got this to this point today. I'd like to thank the members of the Jetty Trust for the amount of time that they've given to this project and the, the skill and the expertise that that trust continue to display. I've been to a number of their meetings on a Tuesday evening at the Governor's Bay Hotel, um, which is always a good opportunity to pop into the Governor's Bay Hotel as well as to get updated on what's happening with the trust. 
Um, there's some great work gone on there, and I know we were very impressed when you came to the um, LTP in 2015 with the, the, the scope and the calibre of the, um, the scope of the project and the calibre of the people involved, and I think that continues to, to be the case. I'd also like to acknowledge the work that staff have put into this as well, because this in many ways is, is breaking new ground for Council. Mm -hmm. I'm really hopeful that the Governor's Bay Jetty Trust partnership with Council becomes the exemplar mm -hmm. of the way that we do this in communities in the future. So we're, we're breaking new ground here, um, and this is excellent. My message to colleagues is please support this today. Mm -hmm.